Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edge ZA and we are back for some more Edge ZA. So, I have started to give myself another task, and uh, as you can see, there are a few blocks above there. We're pretty much going to do a little bit of work on the Nether Hub for every episode. So, this is the little bit of work, and that's where we're going to leave it. So, let's get back to the creeper. Look, there's a creeper. Well, that isn't the important one, is it's important to know I am building a creeper out of concrete powder. E yeah, it's going very, very slowly. And as you can see, sand, gravel, the colors, and the junk blocks, and the building blocks, and things like that. Ooh, there's more redstone. Haha. Uh -huh. So I also had to get quite a lot of redstone. And as you can see, I made sure we will definitely have enough. It's kind of important for us to remember when we need things like redstone, but I just got like half the amount for us at the start, and I was like, hmm, that might not be a good idea. So here. We've got a few blocks. I'm going to make this dropper chain take all of the the drops that we get from here up. Then, what I'm also going to be doing is I am going to... Let's actually just do this. I'm going to make a clock. And I think it needs one extra. And one... Two and two and two and two. If I'm remembering correctly, that is the size that we will need for the two pistons. No, I think I did it slightly wrong. <laughs> there we go. Two pistons that are going to push in together. Now, we need to make pistons, so let's just grab you and go over here to one of these walls. Let me just grab a little bit of cobblestone. Alright, so we're going to need the two hoppers. So that will be the first part. And they're going to go over here pointing into one another. Then we will do that and we will put the repeaters here. Uh, the comparators actually. Uh, let's not use repeaters for the, the comparators because uh, that might not be good, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's just grab you because we need two of you which doesn't show for some reason this is kind of the thing that uh, I keep seeing but uh, yeah I'll complain at another time then we put a dust over there and dust over there then we need sticky pistons so that's why we needed the cobblestone we can just get that going. We need two. And we'll go like so. So and so. Perfect. Do we have the slime here? No. But, oh, the awesome part is this is at least easy because of the slime farm. This slime farm. We've got a lot of slime here somewhere. There we go. Uh, let's just take the whole stack because that's totally what we need. There we go. And I did see the creeper was there, so let's just go slightly safer and we will deal with him. Perfect. Uh, sticky pistons. Sticky piston and sticky piston. Then, what we need to do 
is place a block of redstone right over there and then we can put in our dividing block for when it sends the signal. So I figured 32 should work fine but this I need to double check because uh, I always accidentally have it the, the wrong way or something or other like you know you can understand okay that's going through let's move you over here next we will take a comparator could you please just uh, go away I would appreciate that if I could aim if I could aim uh, I feel really bad for that so let's just uh, make that into sticks and those and we can grab ourselves a comparator now what we want is a repeater which we can also do quite easily and that should start getting things leading out over here so you've already seen me build this tower i'm going to put the redstone here and things like that but that's basically going to launch them out let's just double check if that 32 is fine for the timing because that is off isn't it no i think it was on hmm oh observer observer um just thinking about it we would need to just make an observer that should be fine and this is just an adjustment that we need i i believe so it goes that way let's just take a look it launches them and then they arrive back at different times that's perfectly fine that uh, is also not quite perfectly fine let's just add quite a bit more so I think the timing should be way slower but yeah so that's going to be how that works all right so as we can see here it's going in down here so this is roughly where I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget okay so let's grab ourselves a few more torches so let's do that and just make a comparator we already have a comparator yes that timing seems perfect now gives it time to offload ah so there we go and that should go to a dust and then I need comparators I should have enough for about nine so that should be okay nine and nine we need a more uh, cobblestone um don't leave your fortune pickaxe in the redstone box yeah <sighs> okay so there that should go there and then we actually need those observers so let's just grab a few then we go up one redstone and then point it this way this one's going to be difficult but we can use temporary blocks in the meantime because uh, I just realized I need to look that way um, I'm pretty sure that's how it should be and that's how it should be then what I think we need here is 
A. Hmm. We should, uh, make this have better time. That would work. So let's just, uh, have our inventory completely full. Repeater there. And... Then we can just go over here. Get the glass back. We can put that back. Uh, repeaters. Let's just stick you in there. And get a repeater. Perfect. So that goes there. And we'll put that in subtract mode. Um, no. Redstone dust. There we go. And there it is going up a bit up to there yeah the redstone works well so you can understand we do this all the way up which i'll do off camera and things like that and uh, then we've got this timing here for sending the carts so that means the next thing will be the storage system after i finish this let us go down and finish up the glass so this is basically how it all looks now as you can tell it's very understandable it's very simple and uh, yeah we don't actually have to worry it has enough time so when we go up top there when i finally fly we have a wandering trader because uh, that was totally the best thing to get here at a creeper farm and this is where it's at for the level so far. Let's just take this down and we'll take those two away and we'll see what to expect in a moment. But now, so I brought the redstone up for a reason. Obviously because we don't want to waste it and things, but the hopper line will come along here, in here, I think we'll do it this side. So then what we can do would be this and we can just take that out and get a repeater. Hmm. I think I shouldn't have put all the redstone away, but whoops. That's a uh, my problem. So let's grab a repeater. And we can stick it over here. And I should have taken the comparator when it was there. But there we go. And I'm going to do this in a very slightly simple way. But it should be alright for us. Yes, I had the comparator in my inventory. That's pretty much what always happens. Needs to... Hmm. So that would need an adjustment. That's okay. Because I think what we can then do is go like so and throw away some blocks. You do not want to be there. I promise. Hmm. You don't even give good traits. That is slightly awkward. Uh, I think that would work better for the chests. And we can just get you, stick you over there, get you over here, and we shouldn't get anything, but we will just grab some of the iron so that we can name some dividing blocks so let's go here that is technically cake at the moment and we will get a hopper which we got the iron for <laughs> you can tell I'm just like not getting there because everything is just not working for me these days I just have to do repairs and all sorts of other things and that was to make hoppers. Um, I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing 
I think. So let's just go like so. Because you can go there and actually these other ones can come back because we will do a hopper line here like so well that way let's just use a temporary block and there then the chests will actually have to go under there so let's just make the first double chests one two because I think it's kind of neat and nice maybe I'll need other people's opinions on this because uh, I'm as you can tell just debating it going maybe maybe not and not the trader Oh, he's invisible. I forgot. Uh, let's make it daytime. Ah, uh, tat tat. Yeah, it's it's kind of annoying sometimes for the trader, but that should be fine. Then here we can put the cake blocks. Um, do you know what? I forgot. Let's put the torch there already. There we go. Now we can do the cake blocks. Perfect. And this is finally open. Let's just grab you. And you. I'm kind of doing it in a slightly weird way. But it shouldn't be a problem. So that was what we got for that little short period of time. Which isn't really enough. And I should maybe make that move out one more, so that it's only this hopper being blocked. But we will just decide that in a bit. Uh, let's just get the next set of hoppers. So we need 18 or 9, because uh, that should be covered. And then we can put them back into blocks. I didn't really think that through, as you can tell. But let's just go like so. For starting this out. Because I'm fairly certain this line can just go that way. I really hope that this is low enough. If it isn't then uh, we'll deal with it, but it is perfect. So there, they're going through. Now, the gunpowder should start to come through here in a moment. And that's where we're unfortunately going to leave it today. But uh, that's how this project is going. And we will do more later on in the week because uh, getting sand and gravel is tedious. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!